welcome to Faith and Flower. I'm Robin, and today I want to talk to you guys about how I maintain and preserve my 10 item wardrobe. So if you're new to my channel and you're curious about the 10 item wardrobe, I will have my previous videos in the cards above for you guys to check out. And if you've seen my 10 item wardrobe videos, then you'll know that I have 10 core items that I have for each season in my wardrobe. And so it's very important that I take care of those items well so that they serve me and they last a long time. So I'm here in my laundry because there are some products that I'm going to share with you guys that I use and some other tips and ideas for how to store your wardrobe when it's out of season and how to maintain the things that you're wearing right now. Before we get started, I'm going to go through my 10 item wardrobe very quickly to show those of you that are new my wardrobe for this fall. And for those of you who are familiar with my wardrobe, just to give you a little bit of a closer look and sort of a recap. I have five tops for this fall wardrobe. And if you guys would like more details on each piece, I will have my video for my fall 10 item wardrobe in the description box below. have one skirt, three pairs of pants, and these are each cropped because our fall weather in Texas is still quite warm. And I have one dress in this wardrobe, and I'll show you the pretty tie detail on the side because it wasn't very visible in my original 10 item wardrobe for this fall. My first tip is to use undergarments to protect your clothes and to lengthen the time between washings. I have several tank tops and camisoles that I wear underneath all of my tops and that way I can wear each top more than one time usually before I have to wash them. And I also wear a slip under my dress or I can use it under a top and my skirt. My next tip is to always sort your laundry. I'm always very careful to separate our laundry. So each week I will do a white load, which I will wash in hot water, a light load that I will usually wash in warm water, and then a dark load that I will wash in cold water. And I always do a fourth load of delicates that I will wash in cold water on the delicate cycle. The manufacturer's instructions on many garments will say wash with like colors. I think this is one of the best ways you can keep your clothes looking newer longer. The third tip is to find safe and effective laundry products and I'll share my favorites with you. I have been using these Method laundry detergents and fabric softeners for a while now and I find that they're very effective and I also like that they're safe and made with natural ingredients. I use this for almost all of the laundry that I do except for the delicate loads and it does a great job and it also smells great in this ginger mango scent. My favorite way to treat stains is with this Method Stain Remover. It also does an amazing job and is gentle on our clothes. I usually make sure to treat stains that I know about right away and I also look over all of my clothes when I'm sorting them to make sure everything gets treated before it goes in the wash. My favorite products for fine washables and delicate items are from the Laundress, and I will have them all linked in the description box below. I use their Delicate Wash, their Stain Solution, and their all-purpose Bleach Alternative, which I find are wonderful. These products are super effective, and they are even safe enough to use on fabrics such as silk. I also love using their laundry brush, which is great for delicately working the stain solution into the fabric. Wool dryer balls are also another great way to maintain your clothes because they speed up the drying time in the dryer and therefore your clothes spend less time in the dryer and they suffer less wear and tear. Wool dryer balls can also save you money because it's not necessary to use fabric softener. But if you like a fresh scent, I suggest using some essential oils and I really like this one from the Grove Collaborative called Purify. This blend contains peppermint, eucalyptus, hyssop, and rosemary essential oils. 
just add a few drops of your favorite essential oil right onto the dryer balls and your laundry will come out smelling amazing. My fourth tip is to air dry your clothes as much as possible. All of the lint that accumulates in your dryer is evidence of the wear and tear that the dryer puts on your clothes. Hanging your clothes to dry will also reduce the amount of wrinkles and so you will avoid ironing as well. I like to put my clothes in the dryer for about 10 minutes to release wrinkles and then I hang them up to dry the rest of the way. And because I like to store most of my clothes on hangers, this saves me an extra step because I don't have to fold them. My fifth tip is to properly store your out of season clothes. Before putting away your clothes in out-of-season storage, make sure that you wash them first. Then make sure to store your clothes in a way that will protect them from dust. I like to hang my clothes and I have a little extra space in my closet, so I use these protective covers that keep the dust off of them but still allow them to breathe. If you don't have the space in your closet or you prefer to fold them, then just make sure you have some drawer space or a box with a lid that will keep all of the dust off while they're not being worn. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you got some tips for how to maintain and protect your own wardrobe. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your support on my channel. If you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. And if you like videos like this, make sure to give me a big thumbs up so I know to make more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great week.